moving on now. Agriculture has been the backbone of Kenya's economy since independence, owing to the country's favorable climate and natural resources. However, the country has been struggling with food insecurity due to perennial drought that reduces Kenya to a food beggar. Now, the question is, what are Kenyans not doing right and how do we get out of this crisis these are some of the questions that we looked for answers and we searched for all those answers and even some parliamentarians took the time to travel to israel a largely desert country and brought back a technology they believe is the key to food security in the country our reporter wangari kenyongo has details from israel and begins this series of the agricultural lessons from israel in a country where 80 percent of the population depends on agriculture it is disturbing when food production is not sufficient to feed the citizens last year kenya recorded the worst drought in 60 years prompting a huge campaign both in and out of the country appealing for food more than 3.5 million people were staring at starvation in the face. The irony is that the agricultural sector is the mainstay of the Kenyan economy, contributing 26% of the GDP and generating 60% of the total foreign exchange earnings. The highland areas of central Kenya provide fertile ground for farming, making Kenya one of the most agriculturally productive countries in Africa. The question then begs, where is Kenya going wrong? Flood irrigation is like life and death in terms of technology and agriculture. And the only reason we have maintained flood irrigation is our, is our, is our eating habits, particularly in public funds. For somebody to be doing flood irrigation in 2012 on public offer is a scandal by itself. Let's compare these statistics to those of Israel, a country that is doing so much better despite being in the middle of a desert. Statistics indicate that one full-time farmer in Israel is feeding 100 people. Only 20,000 farmers, who comprise 3% of the total population, not only feed the complete population of Israel, but also export agricultural commodities worth $1.2 million annually. Agriculture contributes $3 billion to the country's GDP. So what is the secret behind Israel's success? Israel is the world's most advanced user of irrigation, with most of its arable land under irrigation. So embedded is the technology that even flower beds and parks along the streets of Tel Aviv are under drip irrigation. The surplus in food production is so high that 80% of it is exported. Herein lies the solution to Kenya's food insecurity as viewed by the Parliamentary Committee on Agriculture after touring Israel. Kenya should adopt drip irrigation in all irrigation schemes in the country instead of flood irrigation which has been the norm. Tomorrow we delve deeper into the efficiency of drip irrigation. How does it work? What are the advantages and what are the possibilities of overhauling the entire irrigation system in the country? Reporting for the Friday edition, Amon Kare Kanyongo. All right, agricultural lessons from Israel. That was Wangari Kanyango with that report. What do you think about it? Absolutely Joe? fascinating, isn't it? For a country that yes. is so arid uh, and it produces surplus mm -hmm. food, you know, enough to feed the population, plus for export, I imagine, absolutely incredible. And now Kenya, that, ha that is so rich in agriculture, absolutely. are the ones who are <laughs> learning from them. Yeah. I think it's amazing. We'd anyway. better pick up those yeah. lessons.